Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Last update was around this shaft here, drilling the hole in it, which I still think is a beautiful hole. Um, very pleased with that. Was well, about drilling the hole in the shaft. This is the main gear shaft. And what I've done is I've put it between centers on the south bend. I've done a very light skim to start bringing the outside diameter down to size for the spline that goes in the middle. And when I measured it after the first sort of couple of skims with this uh, one to two inch mic this end of the shaft is seven thou thicker than this end of the shaft which obviously that's no good at all uh, that it's got to be absolutely parallel so um it means that there's a problem with the south bend lathe over here this is the South Bend lathe and it's a beautiful piece of kit. And what's probably happened is that over the years, this has gone out of adjustment, the tailstock. So the center in the tailstock isn't absolutely in line with the center in the headstock. And that means that this is slightly out and that's why you're turning a taper rather than turning parallel. And it's easily adjusted. There's a, a adjustable screws either side so it, you can um, move it around and then you lock it off and then it's absolutely true piece of egg so I've got a parallel here it's a parallel bar and you put the parallel bar in between the centers you put a clock on the bar and when you turn the um, when you move the saddle across this clock should read absolutely zero all the way across and that's how you know it's parallel so I was expecting this clock to run out by about I don't know three three and a half thou half of the error that we've got um, and that's what I'm planning to correct. But when I move this across here, if you look at that dial, it doesn't move at all. And that is quite a mystery, a real big mystery. How am I turning a taper on this machine when I clock off a parallel and it's absolutely true? So I got sort of... Um, really confused by this a bit of investigation i thought well i'll tell you what i'll do i use the same micrometer and i measure this parallel and wouldn't you know this parallel is seven thou bigger at this end than this end so i think over the time over the years somebody's maybe used this uh to set the tailstock and and it's always had a bit of a run out and of course when you're making a piece that's only that long it doesn't really matter it's not going to be uh, noticeable but as our gear shaft is quite a long shaft it's going to make a big difference um, there's nothing stamped on here so because you can buy tapered parallels but I don't think it's a, it's meant to be a tapered parallel really don't know where where this has come from um, but it does solve the mystery so if if I get this to read three and a half thou under at this side from this side that means that it will actually be parallel and I'll put another cut on that shaft, make, uh, measure that on the mic and hopefully we'll have everything true. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, as usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.